This course is brought to you by Appy Pie as part of our Academy series. Number 18, understand time management versus energy management. Now, we talked about the trifecta, the golden trifecta, when dealing with productivity. It's time, energy, and attention. I really want to emphasize and dig into the point of the difference between time and energy because a lot of people focus on the wrong thing. Now, there's not necessarily a right thing to focus on. You want to focus on both. But most people just deal with time management, giving themselves as much time as possible in the day to accomplish something. But what is time without energy? Now, if you have eight hours in a day to accomplish something, but you're tired, you're sleepy, you're stressed, you don't have a good mental foundation, so on and so forth, you're not going to get anything done. Let's be totally honest. You're going to you know, watch Netflix, you're going to not do the task you're supposed to do because you don't have that energy. You don't have what it takes to actually go out and accomplish anything. But let's flip that on its head and take it from the opposite angle. What is energy without time? Now, if you have tons of energy and you're ready to go and ready to do something, a little hyperactive, if you will, but you don't have any time to accomplish anything, you know, you have the energy of a thousand men, but you have the time of half a man, then it's going to be very, very tough to actually get anywhere and get anything done. So on the rest of this course, we're going to also be talking about how to increase how much time you have in a day to focus on tasks. We're also going to be focusing and talking about increasing the amount of energy by diet, by sleep, so on and so forth. So you're actually able to accomplish more by focusing on these two things. So I really wanted to dig into this point. I really wanted to summarize and bring this up again. I, stru I stuck... I structure these courses in a specific way just because I mentioned something once and it's important doesn't mean I'm only going to touch on it once. I want to make sure I keep on bringing it up, keep on refreshing it in your memory so you really remember it and you can take steps to act on it, to empower your life, to live the life you deserve.